What is up, Madden 25 gamers? In this week's tip of the week, we're going to break down the best passing route in Madden NFL 25. This play comes to us from the New York Giants offensive playbook, and the route we're going to be taking a look at is none other than the Giants slot trail, one of the best routes in the game from last year. So we're in the New York Giants playbook. You want to go down to the normal wing pass, and it's the third play, um, the Giants slot trail. And what we're going to do with this, and it's not just the route, the sole route that makes it so good. It's the stuff that we can do with our route combinations to make this beat every coverage in the game. With one simple adjustment, putting the halfback on a wheel, we're going to be able to beat every single coverage with two routes. What we're going to do with Miles Oster is we're going to motion snap him two steps to the inside. So we're going to put him in motion, and t after two steps, we're going to snap the ball. And as you see, against man coverage, when he cuts up field, he's going to crush man coverage for a quick, easy 10 yards. Now I want to show you guys what's going to happen if they call cover three. Cover three, and, and, and this is what I like to do. Cover three, again, same motion. And the same, at the same timing, when he cuts up field, he's going to beat the cover three. You see that the cover three does not cover Miles Austin. What about cover two single? You know, cover two single. Surely cover this. Well, no, it won't. As you see here, the, the cover two sink right when he cuts up field is not a good time to hit him. But that's when we adjust. As you saw from the cover three and the cover two men under, they covered him initially after the snap. But unlike those two plays, the cover two sink does not. Thus, we can hit Miles Austin right as he cuts to the outside for a quick five yards. Now, if you want to get a bigger gain, I suggest waiting until he cuts back to the inside to beat the cover two sink rather than forcing a ball and potentially throwing an interception. So here you see cover two sink, and he's going to loop right around, and, and, and obviously four-man pass rush, and practice mode is a lot better than in-game. Typically, you won't have to worry about this, but let's just block a tight end just so we can show the example. But when he cuts to the inside, a pass lead to the right is going to be able to almost be like a drag route. So it's almost like a, a fade route and a drag route at the same time, which takes a com combination of last year, Men 13's most effective routes into consideration. And now let's take a look at a cover zero blitz. Cover zero blitzes against the Giants slot trail just don't stand a chance. As you see, the Giants slot trail is just going to absolutely crush a cover zero blitz. Take it almost to the house every time if they make the mistake of blitzing you out of a cover zero coverage. And the last two coverages I want to take a look at today are cover four and cover three. Or, excuse me, cover four and cover two. Okay, guys, so the cover two coverage and the cover four coverage is what we're looking at with the Giants slot trail and... Basically here, I want to look at cover four. It's very similar to cover two sink, where we can hit him right at the snap for a quick five yards. But if we want to, with the cover four, unlike the cover two sink, we can actually wait a little longer. We can wait till he cuts up field on the cover four coverage because of the motion snap. Motion snap allows us to wait that long. And again, another easy, quick six yards. This route's going to frustrate your opponent instead of everything else in this play for later on in the game. And the last coverage I want to look at here is a cover two... Uh, cover two buck with the press on the flat zone so now you see you got that light blue out there you know this is definitely going to stop it well in actuality miles austin route absolutely continues to torch cover two right as he cuts up field and it's just a it's just a headache to guard guys uh the giant saw trail in my opinion may be the best passing route in man nfl 25 i know i said the bubble screens were good i know i said that you know the out routes were good but i think that the bubble screen takes the cake as the best passing route in man nfl 25 if you guys enjoyed this video or it was useful to you, be sure to subscribe or share this video on Twitter so that some other people can check it out and it shows your support for my YouTube channel. Also, if you have any questions about this route or other routes or want to have some feedback, what's your favorite route in Madden NFL 25, leave those in the comments below. I really appreciate interacting with you guys. Thank you for watching so much, guys. It really helps me out a lot. And I really appreciate you guys checking out the best route in Madden 25. And I hope that you guys can build off of this route and maybe use the Giants playbook as we broke it down in the scheme of the week earlier this season. Thank you for watching today, guys, and we'll see you next week.